Hello, everyone. I'm Richard Roberts, and welcome to the Expect a Miracle podcast. Today, I'm really excited to bring to you my very special guest, longtime friend and associate in the ministry, Garth Kuntz, the founder of the TCT Christian Television Network, one of the great Christian networks in the world. Hello, Garth. God bless you, and welcome to the podcast. Hi, Richard. It's good to be with you, and uh, it's always wonderful to see my friend and uh, know that uh, everything is well with you and your family and the ministry. I know uh, that our, our programs have been on, on TCT for many, many, many years, and you and I have been close friends. You, you had a tenure of serving on our board of directors, and I have known you and your dear wife, Tina, and family for just about as long as I can remember. But I want to ask you if you take us back to the foundings of TCT and how God spoke to you and your wife, Tina, how you got started with TCT in the beginning. Well, Richard, it was uh, 45 years ago. And uh, the 20th of May will uh, be our 45th anniversary. I was in the business world and a big part of the uh, Full Gospel Businessmen. And Tina and I were attending the Full Gospel Businessmen Convention in downtown Cincinnati when God spoke to me. And he said, if you'll do what I'm asking you to do, you'll be able to look back years from now and see what I've been able to do through your faith. Well, that kind of took me back a step, even though I was a believer, a uh, Christian businessman, uh, I wasn't expecting God to speak. I wasn't expecting him to say that. And I, so um, as I was sitting there with Tina, I, I leaned over to her and I said, you know, I think we're supposed to leave uh, the meeting here and go back to our room. I think God is uh, trying to say something or I'm just having some sort of a a strange feeling, whatever, and I don't know if it's me or God, but I got a feeling it's God, and she says, I agree with you, and we went back, and while we were there, he said that you've been praying for Christian programming on a local television station here, and if you'll believe me, I'll give you a full 24-hour 24 24-hour 24 day station here in the Cincinnati market. Now, that was foreign to me, because I was not into television. I I knew how to turn one on. I knew how to watch it, change <laughs> channels. And that was the extent of it. I knew nothing more. And uh, and so uh, I said, you know, God, if that's you, you better call somebody that knows what they're doing. And he said, I would not have called you if I had not already prepared you for the task. Mm. And so Tina and I took our small faith and uh, trembling uh feelings at the time, and we began uh, to uh, pursue the project. That's a tremendous uh, thought that you just gave right there, because there may be somebody watching right now, and you've had a word from God, and you don't know how in the world you're going to do it. You feel under-equipped, we might say, like, like Garth felt. And Garth, I'm sure at that point you felt like there was just no way you could do it, except you launched out by your faith. That's the only thing we had to launch out by, because we had nothing else. And... Uh, and Richard, I've learned over the years that through faith, we can accomplish anything through God. Anything that God's asked us to do is not impossible with faith. And so uh, the problem that I was having was I was a businessman. I've been in the business world uh, for uh, 20 some years. Uh, I thought my road ahead of me was all planned out. It was an uh, work ahead to the point where we were old enough to retire. We were going to retire and play a lot of golf. <laughs> uh, that, that didn't happen. Uh, well, a new road. And he says, you follow this road and you will succeed in what I'm calling you to do. I took a look, look at the road that he had, he had shown me ahead of me and it was, it was rough that it had, uh, uh, potholes. It was not really a road. It was just kind of like a trail. And uh, he said, uh, we'll build the road. And so little by little, we built the road. And uh, it's today we have uh, the proof that God will accomplish what he wants to if we ex exercise our faith. If we believe in him, if we stand uh, in faith he will give us uh, the desires, not only of our heart, but uh, what he has called us to do. 
and I can't honestly say that that was a desire of my heart at the time. That was the furthest thing from my mind. But as I look back, God has been so faithful. And, uh, and Richard, your father was a big part of that. I remember uh, talking to him and uh, he, uh, he encouraged through faith. And yeah. uh, I, I looked at his life and what he accomplished through faith and his testimony, and it was a big encouragement to me uh, through the years. Well, Garth, I remember, you know, as I was growing up uh, watching my dad build buildings, and then as I, as I got older, participating with him and helping him to build those buildings, and I remember him once saying to me, Richard, I asked the Lord one day, why did you call me? I don't have any ability. He said, well, as a matter of fact, I did speak to others, but they would not obey. You're the first one who would obey in doing what I told him to do, told you to do regarding this thing. And, and Garth, who knows, there may have been others that have been called, but you were the one who came along and you obeyed. You know, it's, uh, it's sometimes it's difficult to obey God and sometimes it's difficult to follow what he's calling you to do, but he'll never, ever disappoint us. He will always uh, love us, protect us and uh, lead us in the path of uh, his, with his glory. And when we do that, we ha don't have to worry about what the world is uh, saying, what the world says, because criticism will come. Sure. I, I know when we got started, people would look at me and say, you're going to do what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what a Christian television station. Who is going to watch a Christian television station? And uh, a lot of criticism. There's just a lot of criticism out there, but God, God is so faithful. Well, now, after all these years, 45 years, how many stations does TCT have as a part of its network and outreach now? Right now, we're right at the, at the 50 television stations. And um, the goal that we've uh, been talking about is we're going to try to reach 100 uh, in the next couple of years. Your, your daughter, Julie, and your, your grandson, uh, Tommy, are very much involved with this. So you have a legacy. You have a legacy uh, of family members. We do. We, my, uh, my daughter and my grandson are uh, very involved. They have been and, and they're going to continue to be. But right now, my goal is uh, to uh, continue to uh, do what I like to do is negotiate for stations, buy stations, and saturate the airways with the good news of Jesus Christ and cover the cities and say to the cities, behold your God. And right now, that's what uh, what I feel called to do. And I told the Lord, if you'll open the door, I'll walk through. If he closes the door, I'm going to not knock it down. I'm going to just not go through it. But if the door is open, I'm going to go through in faith, and I know that he'll accomplish it. And uh, we've, uh, we've been, in the last couple of years, uh, we've seen God's miraculous power work in so many lives. I've had so many opportunities over the years to come up and to be with you and Tina and with Julie and your grandson also. They're not only in Marion, but up in the Akron area. In fact, I, I remember many of those great early day telethons that we did together and, uh, and then up in Akron as well, uh, and by the way, it's a little easier to get to Akron than it is to get to Marion, Illinois, just in case you didn't know that. <laughs> it's, it's not easy at all to get to Marion. But, you know, God put us there uh, in 1983, uh, and we've been there ever since. I don't know why he put us there, but he did. And because of that, uh, we've been able to grow and to mature and to learn uh, Actually, it was a learning curve for us because, like I said, we didn't know anything about television. Uh, but that gave us an opportunity to uh, to learn before we uh, start running. That's that's a good thing, though, Garth, because you, really you had nothing to unlearn. You didn't have to unlearn the world's way of doing it. You All you had to do was learn the way God wanted you to do it. That's correct. There was nothing to unlearn, that's for sure. But uh, God is a good teacher. And he brought great people across my path over the years uh, to help uh, learn and to mature in what, what he's called us to do. I'm still learning today, Richard. I don't think we'll ever stop learning. But I do know one thing for sure, that when the gospel goes out, it penetrates into hospitals and nursing homes and prisons and 
all sorts of buildings. It just penetrates the, the walls and goes into where people live. And that, the gospel message changes lives. And so as long as we keep doing what God's called us to do. Yes, that's the message Jesus gave us, to go out into the highways and byways where people are, where people are hurting, where people are broken, where people are lost and without God or His Son. That's, that's the calling upon this ministry. Yes. That's the calling upon your ministry. And I just want you to know uh, it has been such an honor to ride this uh, river with you over the years because I think our, our television ministry was represented way, way back in the earliest days of TCT. And we've been through yes. with you all through these years. And I, I thank God for you and for Tina and for all of your family and for what you're doing. And I, I join my faith with you to go from that 50 station outreach to a hundred station outreach. And I praise God. Amen. For you. you know, uh, one thing that uh, I asked God early on, I said, who is going to watch Christian television? Because I've been criticized by so many people said, who's going to watch it? I finally asked God, who's going to watch? And he says, it's not your uh, responsibility to but who watches? He says, you put the signal in the airway and I will direct the signal to whom I want it to go to. Yeah. And I've had, I, I stand on faith that on that today that we'll put it up there and uh, God knows who it's going to reach and he knows who it's going to touch and he knows whose lives is going to be changed. And so like, like your ministry where you're traveling the world and telling people about Jesus we're, uh, we're using the airways to do it, but uh, no matter how we do it, telling people that Jesus is the answer is always the way to go. Well, praise God and thank you for that. Thank you for that, Garth. Uh, Garth, uh, would, you, would you take a moment and pray? And uh, many people are both uh, either watching or listening to this podcast, and some of them have great needs in their lives. Would you pray over them today, and then I'll follow you with a prayer. I will. Father, we just come to you in the wonderful, wonderful name of Jesus. And we pray, to Lord, that as we who are ministering for you, that you will continue to give us courage and faith and stamina to tell the good news, to honor you and not what we're doing, but what you're doing, to let people know that you're the answer, that no matter how difficult times are, no matter how much stuff we're going through, how much agony and pain we may endure, that you're there and you're guiding us through and no matter what happens, you answer prayer, and you're there with us. And I trust that there are people who are listening to this podcast who will maybe going through something, maybe going through a very difficult time. But if they put their faith in you, that, Lord, you will honor that, and you will pull them through it more miraculously and with more peace and joy than they ever experienced before. And, Father, we just again thank you for Richard and Lindsay, for what they're doing for you, and that, Lord, that everything that we do will be to honor you and to glorify your name. In the wonderful name of your son, Jesus, amen. And I add my prayers to Garth's prayers. I pray specifically for you today, healing in every area of your life, from the crown of your head even unto the soles of your feet. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I send the word of healing to you. No matter where you're watching today, no matter where you are listening, in the name of Jesus, there is no distance in prayer. I send the word of God to you right now for healing in your spirit, in your mind, in your body, in your family, in your finances, in your emotions, in your business, in your job, in your ministry, in your marriage, in your relationships, in every area of your life, from the crown of your head even unto the soles of your feet. I believe God for you today, and I'm sending His Word to you. The Bible says in Psalm 107, verse 20, He sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. And so I send that Word to you. 
And Garth, my dear friend, I pray over you and Tina and uh, the entire Coots family and everyone at TCT. God bless you and prosper you. And I see you by faith at the 100 station level in not many, many years from now. I praise God for it. And I, I settle it with my faith with you in Jesus name and agreement. Amen and amen. Well, Richard, it's a pleasure. And I uh, hope to uh, see you in person before too much longer. I look forward to that. And thank you for joining me today on Expect a Miracle. I'll see you next time. Text giving is now available. If you're in the USA, text RRM to 833-881-6442. Now, if you're in Canada, text RRM Canada to 77977. Your generosity makes a difference.